Hi guys, welcome to today's session. Thank you all for your responses on yesterday. And our today's uh, quiz question was Corbett Rajaji landscape belongs to which state? And the answer is it belongs to the state of Uttarakhand. That is the right answer. Let's now start today's session. First question for the day with reference to International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor ITER recently seen in the news consider the following statement statement one it is an experimental tokamak nuclear fusion reactor that is being built in usa and statement two the goal of itr is to demonstrate the scientific and technological feasibility of fusion energy for peaceful use which of the above statements is are correct option a one only option b two only option c both one and two and option d neither one nor two guys the first statement is wrong it is built not in USA so our, our correct answer is option B2 only so recently the international thermonuclear reactor celebrated the start of assembly of ITR tokamak at France and uh, it is ITR is a collaboration of 35 nations launched in 1985 it is located in France not in USA it aims to build the world's largest tokamak to prove the feasibility of fusion as a large scale and carbon free source of energy and the tokamak is an experimental machine designed to harness the energy of fusion inside a tokamak the energy produced through the fusion of atoms is absorbed as heat in the walls of the vessel like a conventional power plant a fusion power plant uses this heat to produce steam and then electricity by way of turbines and generators so the project is based on fusion which is also an energy source for the sun and stars every fusion reaction in the sun in which two hydrogen atoms fuse into one helium atom releases two neutrinos so that is about um, a basic idea of uh, international thermonuclear experimental reactor moving to the second question for the day second question is with reference to cultural history of india which of the following statements is are correct about Pratihara style of architecture. Statement 1. The stone Natraj Chotra pose with Jada Maguta and uh, Trinetra is a depiction of Lord Shiva in the Pratihara style. Statement 2. It is originally from the Kateshwara temple at Baroli in Rajasthan. And statement 3. They have rectangular buildings with a roof that rises into a vaulted chamber. Select the correct answer using the codes given below. Option A 1 and 2 only, Option B 2 only, Option C 2 and 3 only and Option D 1 and 3 only. Guys, the correct answer here is third statement is wrong. Therefore, our answer is Option A 1 and 2 only. The, the rectangular buildings with the roof that rises into a vaulted chamber is not a feature of Pratihara style of architecture. Pratihara style of architecture is a famous temple architecture belonging to Gujara Pratihara dynasty of Rajasthan. They ruled much of northern India from mid 8th to 11th century. And this architecture is known for the sculptures, carved panels and open pavilion style temples belonging to Nagara style of temple architecture. And they used most common sandstones for idols that have various shades of red caused by iron oxide and uh, the greatest development of the style of the building is at Khajuraho which is in Madhya Pradesh uh, now a UNESCO World Heritage Site so that is about a brief about Pratihara style of architecture and guys it's time for a quiz question and today's quiz question is identify this city which is founded in 1336 and it is literally city of victory it is called as city of victory so which city is this Please post your answers in the comment section. We will now move to last question for the day. Last question is Blue Heart campaign, sometimes seen in the news, is related to option A human trafficking, option B ocean pollution, option C tiger conservation, and option D mass exploration. Guys, the correct answer here is it is option A human trafficking. This has been initiated by UN to raise global awareness to fight human trafficking and its impact on uh, society and uh, it aims to encourage the involvement of government civil society and the corporate sector and individuals to inspire action and help prevent this heinous crime it allows people to show their solidarity with the victims of 
human trafficking and increasing their visibility by wearing the blue heart so that is about the blue heart campaign and guys uh, that's all for today we'll meet tomorrow with another set of questions please post answer to the quiz question and just call us in the comment section thank you for watching